As per the trusty version 3 under the environment chapter of the soil and water, let us talk about the agrochemicals. Agrochemicals are used to protect plants, improve yields and keep them healthy. It is crucial to adopt integrated approach that focuses on optimum usage of agrochemicals and continuously looks ways to move towards natural inputs and methodologies based on the indigenous cultural knowledge of agricultural practices. Whenever agrochemicals are used in the tea farms, it is pertinent to ensure safe usage of only the legally mandated agrochemicals and correct disposal of the generated waste in order to keep the workforce and the environment safe. The components of the trusty code requirements to be followed while using the agrochemicals are integrated pest management system, storage, mixing and safe handling of agrochemicals and safe disposal. Calibration of agrochemical, application of equipments, use of plant protective formulations approved by the appropriate regulatory or government authority. That plant protection code of Tea Board of India and FSSI guidelines. Documents to be maintained for the compliances. All these requirements are applicable to the small tea growers also. What is the integrated pest management and the components of IPM? Integrated pest management defined as a system that utilizes all suitable methods and techniques of control in as, as a compatible manner as possible to maintain pest incidence at levels below those causing economic loss of crop. Proper planning for achieving success in IPM program, knowledge and the following is essential. Correct identification of the pest and diseases, biology of the casual organism, site of attack, damage symptoms, mode of migration and disposal, and the alternate host. The components of IPM are cultural practices, host plant resistance, physical control, biological control, pheromones, botanical control, use of inorganic compounds, and finally chemical control. What is the precaution to be taken for storage, handling of agrochemicals, and disposal of empty chemical containers? Ensure the agrochemicals are being stored in a designated place with proper ventilation and dry area with lock and key facility. All the people should be trained and educated on the hazard categorization. Warning signs to be displayed to avoid unauthorized entry. Training to be provided to all the agrochemical handlers with proper personal protect protective equipments avoid spillages and emergency preparedness as per the material safety data set of the chemical. Provide designated place for proper bath and PPE wash area for the workers with basic facility. Using designated mixing area to avoid spillages and the cross contamination. Calibration of agrochemical application equipments to be done on a regular interval. Agrochemical containers to be disposed in a safe manner and it cannot be reused and to be recorded. How to choose the PPFs? This is a zero tolerance class, hence we should follow the research institutes or government guidelines. T research institutes in India shall recommend only such plant protection formulations that have been cleared and registered by the Central Insecticide Board and Registration Committee of Government of India. With label claim in tea, the approved list of pesticides are used in tea is given in PPC document. That's already I told you the Tea Board of India has given the guidelines on this. What are the documents to be maintained as per the trustee code requirement? The documents are PPF usage policy, PISD monitoring record, PPC document, purchase and usage record, chemicals purity checking or analyzing report, calibration record, residue testing reports. It can be done in once in six months, disposal record of agrochemical containers, training records of safe handling, PP usage and disposal of agrochemical containers and finally the list of approved and banned chemicals.